Hi folks, John Ferguson Smart here. A really quick video on a question that someone asked me recently. Do I write tests for my tests? Uh, with the, when we look at techniques like screenplay, techniques like action classes, even page objects, sometimes it looks like the code can be quite complex. So the question is, how could you trust that code? How do you know it actually works? Do you have to write tests for the tests? The answer is, well, actually, sometimes I do, but only when the code is non-trivial enough for me not to trust it. For instance, support code, infrastructure code, code that's setting up test data, code that uh, my, that sets up non-trivial bits of data that needs to be transmitted to an application, for example. Uh, that sort of thing, I will test drive, I will write unit tests. And the reason I write unit tests, is, or it's not actually unit tests, I just test drive it. I write examples of how that code should work, what that code should do, and then I make that work. So I just basically do test-driven development on the test code. It's not a big deal. The reason I do it that way is that the poor person who will have to maintain my code afterwards, they're going to have to know what I was thinking when I set up this data, when I set up my uh, the code, if they need to change it to make it do something else. I'd much rather give a few examples and illustrations of how to do that. If it's non-trivial infrastructure code, if been for a big application, sometimes you need that, then yeah, sure, write mini executable specifications for that code. It'll also make it faster to develop, faster to write that code. So in that case, absolutely. For other situations, if you think your actual test code needs tests, it's probably too complex. You're probably trying to make it too much. If there's too much conditionality, if there's too many, if there are four loops, if there are, if it does different variations, then your code is probably too complex. When do you need tests for te code? Typically when it does complex things, when it, when there are conditions, when there are different paths through the code, when it does calculations. If you're in that situation, either you have infrastructure code, in which case you'll want some unit tests, or if or if you're in a normal test code, then your test is probably too complex. You need to think about how you can simplify your test to make it maybe more declarative, maybe uh, more intuitive, and then think about how you can make your test code, your application code more testable to support that. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Do I write test code for my tests? Yeah, sure, sometimes for infrastructure code, but not for the main code. Okay, thanks for listening.